think overall it was good. You know, you know, there's a lot of mix and match of, of, of players, and uh, I think we get a lot of work. The, the big thing is you you have a you know you you get the experience of playing, and um, and that's in a game type situation, and that uh, for a lot of guys that'll carry over. You know, I told a lot of me you prepare for this like a normal game, and then you kind of evaluate that afterwards about your preparation, and and so hopefully some players will do that. And uh, you know, there's good things that happen and bad things, but that's all part of uh, you know the whole thing. You know, it seems like the guys who won the most improved player awards were all really good today, like yeah. Russell Hansborough, for example. Yeah, 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 he did. Russell, he he really looked well, good today. And you know, there's a lot of competition in that position. There's a lot of competition all over the place, but uh, certainly Russell's got some great quicks. He's explosive. He, uh, you know, he's also at a position where, where uh, you know, there's depth. But uh, you know, when you can stand out, at, you know, with the depth we have at tailback, and you can stand out. That's certainly uh, that's certainly pretty good. Gary, talk about how you evaluate this game and the entire spring and, and moving forward. Well, what forward. I tell the players in our meeting our last uh, this past Thursday is we evaluate this game, okay, but we also include the other 14 practices. And what we do is after this game, we'll do this by Monday. We'll set the depth going into August. And then, then you start again, and, and all the competition at every position is still open. So that's uh, that's how we do things. We've always done it, and uh, I think there's going to be a lot of competition going in well into the middle of August. Gary, obviously a lot of the attention on the quarterbacks. How is it important is what happens between now and the start of fall camp with those guys? I mean, putting themselves in position to compete. There. Yeah, I, I think so. I, I think that I, I, it'll be interesting when that sorts itself out. Now, you know, we'll have a one, two, three at least going into August, like at every every position, but. Uh, you know, it, it's so much is just a, the work ethic of not only quarterbacks but the entire team. There's so, so much to get done. I told our football team, you know, this, and I really never looked at it this way. I, I, don't, I don't know why, but, uh, you know, when they get back in January, all the way until they report in August, we're, we're as coaches, we coach them on the football field 15 times. Months and months, we only get 15 days. So the work that they have to put in on their fundamentals at every position, not only quarterback, the, the constant imp improvement on fundamentals is, is 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 done with their work ethic and their extra work, and uh, the combination of working with the older players and so on and so forth. So everybody's got to do that, but uh, it'll be interesting to see where it goes. I think it's very competitive, and, and I feel good good about where we're at. Just watching from from up here. I mean, Matty said he was disappointed with the way he started, but encouraged by the way he finished. Well, there's a lot of things going on out here. I mean, you know, I, when, when you see an interception, did the receiver stop? It was he forced to throw the football? You know, there's a lot of things that happen. And, uh, you know, obviously every quarterback's always responsible for every ball. But, uh, you know, he overall, he had a really, really good spring, without question. And, um, you know, this experience will be good for him, and he'll learn from it, and uh, like everybody else does. In the same vein, I imagine you're happy that James took care of the football and did engineer two drives. That yeah, a couple good drives and engineered some things. You know, on, on offense, if you take a sack, and here if you touch them, it's a sack. There's a lot of there's a lot of ways to different ways to look at that. But bottom line is, you know, you, you, the thing I, I just don't that we really got clean up and with all the issues we had in personnel and offense last year. That if you want to be a good offensive football team, you can't get penalties, you can't take sacks. Uh, you can't turn the ball over. These are all things that you're beating yourself doing, and 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 and, and certainly you, you do the best to not to make negative yards. If you do all those things, guess what? Your offense has a chance to be successful. And so, it, we're, we've been, traditionally over the years have been pretty good at not beating ourselves, and we got to get back to that. And I think that's that's the the rallying cry from my standpoint, is you know Missouri beating Missouri a lot out there, uh, and and we we've got to do a much better job of, of being a, a really good football team, and, and got to be a good football team fast. And then the, the other side though, your defense looks pretty good out there. Yeah, we, we've been playing some really good defense, really pleased up front with us on defense. Michael Sam's had a great great spring. Shane Ray's been doing outstanding. Um, uh, Matt Hoke is, I mean, he's a different player. You know, as you saw Sheldon a year ago, or two years ago, and then all of a sudden you saw him a year later, you go, what the heck happened to this guy? Well, you mature and you grow, and and, uh, and so Matt Hoke has done really, really a tremendous job also. And uh, and so we got, we got a good, probably the best group of linebackers we've ever had. We've had a couple young corners and young safety that, that are playing really well. So it's, uh, we, we got to, when we, when we decide the most improved, generally uh, what happens is you, 
you, you, you as a, we, we bring up a player, like we're in a meeting to decide, okay, let's uh, most improved corner or most improved safety or what have you. And generally, it's, it's pretty easy. That guy's the most improved. Well, this year is one of those years that almost every position, it could have been two or three players. And when that happens, that's good. Because that means you got a lot of players getting better and showing themselves in a good way. So I'm really pleased with that. What's the most important thing now that the players can do to <coughs> get back up with them in August? Well, what they have to do is obviously they'll have to finish academically, taking care of that. But uh, it, it's it's about when they get it back in June here for summer school, it's summer, it's summer ball, it's it's working out with Coach Ivy and the staff. And and then the seniors hold our our workouts on Tuesday and Thursday night. They run it by themselves. Uh, they, they they help coach it. They're part of it also. But, but it's a constant working at fundamentals. Again, I, that, that stat I said a little while ago. We have 15 practices in five month period, four month period of time, or five month period of time. That's the only time we're allowed to coach them. They got to do a lot on their own, and that's that's the rallying cry to have a team that does that. Mistakes down this spring compared to last spring. Well, I, I think it's off off and on. There's there's a lot of things when you're switching quarterbacks and switching receivers and switching the people where the continuity is going to suffer a little bit. But but still, you know we we got to, I think we had a making of a really good um, offensive football team and defensive football team and a constant getting depth ready to play and and we certainly got a, a certain a couple positions on each on both sides of the ball where it's you know it's still up in air. It's going to be very competitive.